Just in time for our last class, we get this in yesterday's New York Times and all over the rest of the media. Uh, new planet. Uh, could be Earth-like. You know, every time they get a new planet, it's always Earth-like. But this one might really be true. Um, it's, uh, found, it was found by the standard Doppler shift method, which you guys all remember. And it uh, uh, turns out to be the lowest mass planet uh, that's been discovered in that particular way. And so as a kind of final uh, farewell calculation, I thought we'd check the New York Times' numbers on this. Uh, you can go back and read the article for yourself. Uh, the information given there is that the orbital period is about 13 days. Uh, the distance between the planet and its star, that's uh, the semi-major axis, is given as 7 million miles. Uh, these are, of course, not the world's best set of units. Uh, the distance to the system is 20 light years. That's really close. Somebody's quoted in the article as saying, you know, we could go there. For a century, as we have in looking for the dark matter and keep finding nothing, uh, you've got to start to wonder. Uh, and indeed, there was a, a, a radical theory proposed uh, a few years back about the dark matter in particular, that there is no dark matter. It's just we don't understand the laws of gravity. And so you know, we had to modify the laws of gravity for very high gravitational fields. That turned out to be relativity. And they suggested that you also need to modify the laws of gravity for very low gravitational fields, the kinds of things you feel at the edge of a galaxy from the galaxy. Uh, and they figured out how you would have to do that in order to explain uh, uh, the orbits of galaxies without using any dark matter. This is called MOND for uh, Modified Newtonian Dynamics. Uh, and I don't think that it's become clear that that particular theory probably isn't going to go anywhere for various reasons. It doesn't seem to be self-consistent. But uh, nevertheless, this was seriously proposed. It was also, I have to say, a little philosophically dubious because if you want a new theory of gravity, you don't want to go back to Newton and start over again. Uh, you probably want to start with relativity and move on. Uh, but they made it consistent with relativity. They worked out all the, uh, uh, all the stuff, and it seemed to, to work OK, except it turns out it disagrees with observations also. Um, but it was a real attempt to uh, imagine that these things might really turn out to be epicycles. And if, if there isn't progress in finding out what's going on, I think we're going to see more of that uh, as time goes on. Uh, and uh, it may be that in 50 years, uh, these things uh, will look like uh, what we think about people who thought that the Earth was the center of the universe. So we'll see. Now. There is one additional thing that we know about the universe, uh, in addition to you know, these three lines, which are kind of the basic information that we, we currently have. Uh, and that is, so here's another fact about the universe, uh, kind of an obvious one. Uh, the fact is that we exist. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation, right? Uh, and uh, what does that tell you about the universe?